Oh, and there's so many niggas out right now that aren't musicians that are getting treated like musicians because they make meme records or whatever. And I'm like, bro, this nigga's out here that's really special, really alien, really sure. talented, really putting in the work. Right. And these niggas can't perform. All these niggas dress alike. Man, yeah. you go to 19, you go to 2003. Jay didn't sound like T.I., who didn't sound like 50. Pharrell didn't sound like Dre, who ain't sound like fucking Quick, who ain't sound like Ye or just Blaze or Alchemist. Eminem didn't sound like fucking Jill Scott. Jill Scott wasn't trying to sound like Julian from the fucking Strokes. Everyone was them fucking sell. Now, like, everyone is doing cosplay. It's a Spider-Man meme of, like, the next Tyler the Creator has just exposed the harsh truth in the music industry. They only care about popularity. It is a popularity contest where views, likes, streams and engagement are the priority. Of course this makes sense as the more eyeballs you have on your product, the likelihood that it will sell more units is certainly high. However, Tyler is the exception to this. He is a unique artist that fully indulges himself in his art. He creates concept albums that give the listener a world to dive into. It is a cohesive body of work that takes you through track by track with a through line that makes you want to really listen from front to back. Like how music used to be, like how music once was. Now, as Tyler puts it, it's all about the meme records. The type of thing that Tyler is referring to as a meme record or artist is someone like the rapper Ian. Ian is someone who is a direct reflection of those that have come before him. Highly auto-tuned voice, cadence that is similar to future in the terms of his delivery, and using beats and sounds that just sound like everything else out there in the rap world. Even the lyrical content isn't even original but it kind of just checks all the boxes of what is popular right now and hitting them all perfectly so that he can blow up within the popularity contest. He is hitting millions of views and streams monthly, all without really being unique. For me personally, I have to side with Tyler on this point. Thanks to all the access of streaming and having platforms like YouTube, where anyone can upload whatever they want, I love finding amazing new artists. I personally feel like there are a handful of guys and girls that I think are insanely talented, like Tyler, but are not having the same impact as someone like Ian, for example. Artists like Diamond Cafe, John Lindell, Sam Gallatry, Hayley Knox, and The Emotional Oranges, who aren't getting the same treatment, but are extremely talented, just goes to show where this industry is at. Now, I don't wanna come off like a hater to someone like Ian, or even other artists that are absolutely killing it because art is subjective. And if someone loves the way a rapper sounds and wants to sound just like them and make songs just like them too, then they should totally be allowed to do that. I just feel like the same level of celebration that they are getting should be also given to the ones that are unique too, if not more, for their originality. As Tyler states in his interview with Maverick Carter on his show, Spring Hill, if you go to the 2000s, you can totally see there was more room for uniqueness and it was celebrated. The producers came with their own sound, the artists came in with their own voice, and the industry wanted their one-of-a-kind artists to be a part of their label. Whereas today, it feels like the labels are just trying to tick all the same boxes because that's the thing that's working right now. Because that's the thing to make that money.